Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another instant deck tech. So today we're heading to Modern to check out the return of a deck that was the best deck, the most powerful deck, one of the most annoying decks in Modern, like a year ago before it got hit by some bannings. This is a Zeusa amulet. It's brought to us by Matt Nass, who recently... Took it to a 5-0 finish in a league. Played it at this weekend's GP to a day to finish. I don't know his final record. Anyway, a quick reminder before we break down Azusa Amulet. If you enjoy this deck and want to see it main to videos, take a second, click the like button, the subscribe button, leave a comment, anything you can do to support your deck because whichever deck is most popular gets a shot at being main to videos next week. So Azusa Amulet is built around the same interaction as the old Amulet Bloom decks. You want an Amulet of Vigor on the battlefield, which will allows you to untap permanence that would enter the battlefield under your control tapped, and then you want some bounce lands, the Karoo lands from Ravnica, which enter tapped, unless you have the amulet, then they untap, makes you return a land to your hand, but tap to add two mana instead of one. So the basic idea is you get the amulet, you play a bounce land, you untap the bounce land with the amulet, you tap it to add two mana in response to the land's own return of land you control trigger, and then you pick up the bounce land again. This might not sound that exciting, but the trick is to play multiple lands in one turn so you can keep playing picking up, playing, picking up the same bounce land, and it basically ends up working like a crazy ritual that allows you to make uh, four, six, eight mana in one turn. The old way of doing this was Summer Bloom, just two mana, you get to make three extra land drops in a turn, but Summer Bloom got the ban hammer, the deck was just so fast and consistent, so now to play extra lands, it has to make do with a couple of less powerful, jankier options. So you get Azusa Lost but Seeking, gives you two extra land drops each turn, which is pretty sweet. The problem is it's a bit slower than Summer Bloom, being three mana instead of two mana, but it still gives you enough mana with the three land drops, the one for your turn, plus the two from Azusa, to make six mana if you untap with an Azusa, which just so happens to be enough for Primeval Titan, one of the key finishers in the deck. And then you also get Sakura Tribe Scout, a 1-1 one, one for 1 that just lets you tap it to put a land from your hand onto the battlefield. So this obviously doesn't count towards your 1 land per turn, so not as explosive as Azusa, certainly not as explosive as Summer Bloom, but still a no way to make an additional land drop on a turn and help ramping with those bounce lands in the amulet so you can play a Primeval Titan. So the sweet thing about Primeval Titan in this deck, apart from being a huge trampler that can search out some really powerful lands, is... Once you play a Primeval Titan, if you want to, over the next three or four turns, you're going to be able to play all your Primeval Titans. Uh, because you have Summoner's Pack to search up your Primeval Titans, and then you have Teleria West to search up your Summoner's Pack, so you play the Primeval Titan, you get a Bounce Land and a Teleria West. With the Return of Land trigger from your Bounce Land, you pick up the Teleria West, then you can transmute it to get a Summoner's Pack, which costs zero mana, cast a Summoner's Pack to get another Primeval Titan, then you go through the whole loop again, so over the course of a few turns, you're just going to have every Titan and beat your opponent down with them. You can also search out some lands to make Primeval Titan even better. Slayer Stronghold gives your Titan haste and vigilance and plus two plus oh, so not only do you get to play the Titan and search for lands, but Right away, you can give it haste, search for two more lands, and get in a huge attack. Kessig Wolf Run just pumps it up. The backup plan for the deck is Hive Mine. Essentially forces each player to copy any instant or sorcery played by any player. So the trick here is you get a Hive Mine on the battlefield, also six mana, so it works with the land drops off of Azusa with the bounce lands and the amulet. And then you play a Pact of Negation or a Summoner's Pact. If your opponent doesn't have the correct mana to pay for those, they're gonna die on their upkeep to their copy of the pack that they're forced to get from the Hive Mine. The rest of the deck, you get a Hornet Queen as an additional finisher, also can just clog up the board if you're behind, which is something a Primeval Titan isn't as good at. Simeon Spirit Guide picks up the pace on things. Serum Visions and Ancient Stirrings cycle through your deck, help you find your amulets and your bounce lands and your titans. And then a bit of protection and Spell Pierce and Engineered Explosives. The rest of the mana base, you get a whole bunch of one ofs Vesuva can copy a land. Colony Garden allows you to get a 0-1 plant as a chump blocker. Radiant Fountain 
Gain your cup of life. And remember, you can do the same trick I was talking about with Teleria West. Uh, search them up along with the bounce lane with Titan. You gain the two life from Radiant Fountain. Pick up the Radiant Fountain. Replay the Radiant Fountain. Gain two more life. So they're more powerful than they look because you can play them multiple times. Also a Ghost Quarter. Cavern to make your Titan uncounterable. Some random fixing five color lands. In the sideboard, you get a bunch of removal and another spell pierce you get a ton of ways to deal with artifacts and enchantments in natural state and nature's claim malyra in spell skite help against infect burn decks that have a lot of pump spells then you have Bajukabog to tutor out to deal with Dredge, Tireless Tracker to go long and generate card advantage, Boil for Merfolk, Pithing Needle, kind of all-purpose, and then three obstinate Bayloss to help keep you alive in aggro matchups. Anyway, this is Azusa Amulet, the return of Amulet Bloom in Modern. And that's been our Instant Deck Tech for today, so thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon!